Welcome everybody, today's video is going a bit old school on the channel as Bohemia Interactive's latest blog post announces in full the Infusion Engine, which we have seen used in part with Daisy standalone with the graphics renderer as well as in for script and I think one other thing, I'm pretty sure this post goes through it though. We also get a couple of nice screenshots taken inside the engine as well as a trailer and another little video clip of a character animating itself into a truck a la Daisy. There is of course no official confirmation on Armor 4 but this is probably where Armor 4 is going to be built upon. With that being said, for those that haven't seen the blog post yet, it reads as follows. Today we have something special for you. We would like to officially present our new game engine Infusion to the world. It will form the core of Bohemia Interactive's future games in addition to giving new titles from BI a modern audio-visual look. The Infusion engine is characterized by multi-platform use, improvised user-friendliness for players and superior support for mod creators. The new Infusion engine has been under development at Bohemia Interactive's offices in Prague, Brno and Nisek for four years. However, the idea of its creation and some of its foundations date back as far as 2014. Currently, there is a team of 30 developers involved in it. In terms of time, investment and human resources, it has become, in recent times, Bohemia Interactive's most important project. Multi-platformity and use of modern technologies. The Infusion engine is cross-platform and thus enables the concurrent development of games for PC, Xbox and PlayStation. PC and Xbox games will enjoy full DirectX 12 support. The core of the engine is C++ programming language with a scripting language called Enforce, an OOP scripting language that gamers may have already encountered, for example in DayZ. Shaders written in HLSL are used for rendering. The audio-visual design of games developed on the new engine will therefore be future-proof. Optimizing the resource utilization of modern processors and graphics cards enables smooth operation and stable rendering frequencies even in demanding simulations. The developers have also devoted their efforts to substantial improvement of the network code, promising an even better multiplayer experience. Infusion Workbench – All Developer Tools Together One of the main advantages of the Infusion engine is its clarity and user-friendliness for developers. Thanks to the Infusion Workbench Toolkit, they will be able to easily modify the attributes of the game or mod under development. Enthusiastic community content creators will get their hands on the same professional tools used by developers at Bohemia Interactive. Personally, I might be looking forward to the workbench more because the reason I stopped modding for Daisy and Armor was just the user friendliness just wasn't there for those tools and it just annoyed me. So this looking like it, a lot more of an Unreal Engine or Unity kind of user friendliness workbench is really interesting to me and I might actually really dive into it deep and create worlds and things like that I think it'd be interesting but anyway the infusion workbench modules or what it includes is a world editor this is where virtual worlds are created particle editor visual effects editor animation editor editor for configuring character and object animations script editor place for writing and debugging scripts in enforced language audio editor editor for audio effects and music Behavior Editor, Editor for Defining the Behavior of Game Controlled Characters, AI. Procedural Animation Editor, Editor for Simpler Game Driven Animations. String Editor, Editor for Language Localization. Layout Editor, Editor for Creating Game User Interfaces, and others. The Workbench is also closely connected to the backend systems of a Bohemia Interactive, including its own workshop. Thanks to this, it serves as a robust tool not only for development, but also for composition and distribution of mods for all games that run on the Infusion Engine. Future and public release date. The development of the Infusion Engine is far from over with today's announcement. Its gradual evolution remains Bohemia Interactive's top priority. The engine itself, along with the development tools and user documentation, will be released to the public soon, along with the first official playable demonstration of its features. Bohemia Interactive is not considering licensing the Infusion Engine to developers to create their own games at the moment. While we're not quite ready to reveal anything more about our future games, we're really hoping that this little visual sneak peek will make you excited about what's to come. The playable demonstration I'm pretty excited for. I'll be all over that as well as the tools and the documentation. I'll probably set aside a bit of time for me to read through those and then play with them. Maybe make some videos on my uh, learning of that and maybe help some people out. We'll see how that goes though. Pretty interested on the rest of the community, the modding community. They usually don't take too long to port to the new engine, i.e. Daisy mods from Armor 2 to Armor 3 and things like that, or the Armor 3 Survivor inspired Daisy mods and things like that. So would they make the infusion full on? 
a port of daisy or a survival daisy inspired mod game mode etc we're gonna obviously have things like wasteland all the popular mods could probably moved across once people learn these new tools um though if they're more user friendly things could work out quicker than expected uh but you know uh, these things are yet to be seen and found out which we will hopefully get to as soon as possible uh, i know a few people that will be looking at this uh, myself so probably be a few of us in a little little huddle saying uh oh have you tried this have you done this and we'll be we'll be looking at it it's pretty interesting pretty exciting full infusion these screenshots do look really nice they're in 4k uh luckily i was sent uh the proper press kit from bohemia with the full-on 4k screenshots so get you the best quality i can through this video hopefully uh, of course i will leave a link in the description to the blog post where you can check out the full blog post as well as screenshots and videos yourselves if you want to in your own time but i thought you know this is a bit going back to the old stats report days bloody hell I will be trying my best to keep us all updated on anything in Fusion Engine for the future. It really does interest me in the future of Bohemia Interactive and the modding community. With all that said, don't forget to leave a like if you enjoy the content I create. Subscribe, it doesn't cost a penny. And just lets you know when my videos are live and keep watching them if you enjoy them. I love you all, and I'll see you peeps next time.